Carpal tunnel syndrome. So you may have heard about this condition before, but what is often not known is what it exactly is. It is a painful condition in the hand caused by the compression of the median nerve which controls the movement of the thumb and fingers. Anatomically, the median nerve runs through the forearm, then to the carpal tunnel before entering the palm. This nerve compression results from increased pressure in the tendons and ligaments surrounding the carpal tunnel area. Provide some more context, 3-6% to of the general population are affected by some form of carpal tunnel syndrome, mostly middle-aged individuals between their 40s to 60s. According to the National Institutes of Health, females are three times more likely to develop this condition. And although not confirmed, this might be because on average, females tend to have smaller wrists than the average male. Some other factors that are associated with carpal tunnel development include medical conditions such as obesity, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, hypothyroidism, and osteoarthritis. Even injuries like wrist sprains can lead to increased pressure on the median nerve. Who is at risk? Carpal tunnel is shown to be common in occupations that expose workers to repetitive movements that involve high pressures and force. Although it is most reported in people involved in assembly line work, like handling objects on conveyor belts, turning keys, or knitting, even musicians and office workers who work long hours in front of the computer are exposed. An interesting fact, in 2013, Jessica Alba was also diagnosed with carpal tunnel when she noticed sudden numbness in her hand which awoke her in the middle of the night. What are some other signs and symptoms? They include feelings of swelling, burning, and tingling. In the early stages, people with carpal tunnel typically experience gradual and painful sensations of pins and needles in the wrist, palm, and fingers. In its later stages, symptoms can become more painful, so it is really important to notice these symptoms early and inform your general practitioner so that early treatment can take place. There are many diagnostic tests available. They are often used in combination with one another to accurately determine whether symptoms are indicative of carpal tunnel syndrome. Here are some quick and easy tests you could even try out right now. Thanks for watching. To learn more about prevention and treatment options for carpal tunnel syndrome, you could click right over here. And to watch more interesting videos about topics in medicine, make sure you subscribe.